Hello there, this video will cover how to install Inkscape in a Linux desktop on an Android. If you are interested in Linux on an Android, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on an Android without running. There will be commands and further explanations in the pinned comment for this video. Now, Inkscape is used for creating and editing scalable vector graphic files recognizable by their .svg extension. Vector graphics can be scaled to any size without losing their quality, unlike pixel-based images. When working with pixel-based images, I would recommend using GIMP. I will have a link to the video on how to install GIMP in the pinned comment. To install Inkscape, we will use Synaptic by going to the menu, and in the Preferences category, we will click on Synaptic Package Manager. When Synaptic is open, we'll want to be online because we are going to click on the reload button to get an up-to-date list of the available software. When Synaptic is done reloading, we can then click on the search button and search by name for Inkscape. When Inkscape comes up, we can right-click on it, select Mark for installation, and then click on the Mark button for the additional required changes. From there, to install Inkscape, we just need to click on the Apply button and then click on Apply again to confirm that we want to install Inkscape. If we get any errors after installing, we can safely ignore and close out of those. We can repeat this process for installing the Inkscape-Tutorials package, which gives tutorials on how to use Inkscape. When we're done doing that, we can then close out of Synaptic. Now we can open up Inkscape by going to the menu, and in the graphics category, we can click on Inkscape. Now we may need to give Inkscape a moment to start up, but after a moment, we have Inkscape up and running. To make Inkscape full screen, we just need to press on F11 on our keyboard. Now we can make the page fit the screen better by going to the view menu, and in the zoom section, we can click on page. We can also customize the interface by going to the Edit menu, select Preferences, and in the Interface section, we will select Theme. Here we can adjust the colors and icons. Note that we may need to close out of Inkscape and then reopen it to see some of the changes apply to Inkscape. Here I am just playing around with some SVG clip art as an example of using Inkscape. If you would like a bunch of clip arts that you can play around with, you can install the Open Clip Art package that has a bunch of PNG and SVG clip art. The clip art from the Open Clip Art package can be found in the slash USR slash share slash Open Clip Art file path, where the PNG folder has the pixel based images and the SVG folder has the scalable vector graphics. Now, whenever we save an image in Inkscape, it'll save it as an SVG file by default. We can also export an image as a PNG file instead by going to the File menu, select Export PNG Image, and then click on the Export button. For documentation on Inkscape, we can go to the Help menu and select Inkscape Manual, where there is a ton of documentation on how to use Inkscape. We can also view the tutorials that we installed earlier by going to the Help menu, and in the Tutorials section, we can see a list of all the tutorials that include things like the basics, the different shape tools, the calligraphy tool, the elements of design, and more. Finally, we can get more documentation from a terminal by doing Inkscape space dash dash help. We can also do man space Inkscape for a more detailed help. One last point I would like to emphasize is that Inkscape is another tool in our toolbox and knowing how to use a couple of tools within Inkscape can go a long way. And with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, Linux on Android phones and tablets. And other than that, see you soon!